Hey y'all, Brian here. The Two Truth 24-7, 365. I ain't never been so honest. So check this out. In the late 90s, some friends of mine who had new computers, the internet had just come about, and nothing better to do with their time than to file Freedom of Information Act FOIA requests from the government. Now, of course, at the time, the big thing was, let's see if there's aliens. Wow! Who killed Kennedy? At this point, we don't give a shit about none of that. But, this Freedom of Information Act was very fruitful in bringing up something that I think is most relevant right now, right now, with everything that's going on with this, how do I put it, this ruse, this coup d'etat, uh, this hijacking, or silent destruction of America. I don't it's almost a phantom assault. Hey, I don't know how else to put it. But anyway, back to my buddy. So they get this Freedom of Information Act packet with a Department of Defense memo in it that is titled Silent Weapons for Quiet, or no, Quiet Weapons for Silent Wars. And in this memo, no, it was a report, it was an entire report. It talked about fourth generation warfare, where no longer was a shot going to have to be fired in order to take over a country. They would use television, radio, internet as the propaganda machine disinformation, misinformation, and total control of true information. And anything that, <coughs> anything that, <coughs> that, anything that was contrary to the given narrative that the United States, the delusion that the United States wished to deploy on whatever target would be made just to null effect. They don't have to kill people anymore because with the technology that is at their disposal, this is how you should look at technology, and I know this, I've seen it. If they tell you about a robot, and they show you this robot can walk and throw a football, then they have 50 years of more advanced technology where they have a robot that can move, throw a football and move so fast down the field, the robot can catch the football with 100% accuracy. I'm telling you the way that it works. Cell phones, internet was around 50 years. The military DARPA used these things 50 years before they were released to the public. Imagine! Imagine! that in the 50s, they realized they could manipulate the frequencies of the human mind 
and have folks do as they wished. They can implant thoughts into the human mind using frequencies. Now that being said, the television, make no mistake about it, the television was patented as a mind control device. Look it up. The television that 24 hours a day is spewing out the coronavirus narrative. And anything different from that that does not portray that narrative is being silenced. Being targeted. In the Iraq war they tested fourth generation technology. If you will remember, and this is classified, if you will remember that Saddam's troops turned and ran, tried to surrender without even, even a skirmish. I mean, you have devout and violent Islamic and a well-funded army Islamic terrorist <coughs> in trenches and they have the opportunity to make war with what they call the great white devil or black devil I don't know what they call it I ain't pay no attention to that shit that's, that's neither here nor there Anyway, so they surrendered without firing a shot. And this is classified. Because 24 hours a day using 5G technology at around 60 megahertz, the U.S. military was beaming fear and confusion, and we all know who the author of confusion is. Let's, let's be real about it. The author of confusion is the devil. Satan is the author of confusion. And in this confusion, Satan and his agenda prosper. Now, mind you, that the United States for a long time has been the land of confusion. I mean, let's be real about it. We don't know our butts from a hole in the ground because we're confused all the time. So let's say that technology that was used, that was developed in the 50s, has had 70 years, 70 years, to perfect this technology. And make no mistake about it, there is a frequency for every emotion, every thought, every illness, Every organ in your body has a frequency. Everything on the earth resonates at some... The earth itself resonates at about 5 megahertz. Time travel. And you say, oh, rock star, what the hell? Time, time travel scientists 30 years ago determined that... If you could match the quote unquote time machine's frequency with an event or a thought 
in the past, if you could match that frequency, you could travel to that frequency in time. That, that was the navigation system that is used in modern time travel is such a, a an inaccurate word because you don't actually travel in time. Artificial intelligence solved the grandfather paradox. The grandfather paradox said if I go back in time and I kill my grandfather John Henry, he was a mean, mean man. I don't even remember my grandfather ever speaking, but I remember fear. I had a fear of John Henry Daughtry. One time that man cut his hand nearly off, but he was working. He taped it up with duct tape, and we continued to finish the porch. God! Woo! So, what was I, what was I saying? Oh, time travel is inaccurate. The grandfather paradox states that if I went back to kill John Henry, that how could I be born to have went back to kill John Henry? As soon as artificial intelligence powered by quantum computers, the D-Wave, the 128 quibit, quibit, that speaks to itself in alternate realities and other dimensions that Giordi Rose said is like praying at the altar of an alien god. Really? So, the grandfather paradox, it was thought by physicists and other other scientists that if I, that you couldn't time travel because of that here's what artificial intelligence said one of the first questions it answered and it was so simple it said because the minute you decide to go back in time you actually step into another dimension where you have created an entire universe an entire existence where you killed your grandfather and that starts a new timeline. You can't, you never return to the reality from which you came from because that reality does not exist for you because your reality is your perception of reality, your senses. Your eyes, what you see, what you think, what you feel, and what you've been programmed to feel. Make no mistake about it. Programming the human mind has been an agenda for Lucifer and the 200 fallen angels that came after him. In the book of Enoch, he says, there are five Satans. The grandfather paradox was solved by that. So time travel was then deemed possible and it happened. Now navigation phasing into other realities was problematic until frequencies were added to guide you into these other realities. Now where we stand now, there is a war. Fourth generation weaponry. Quiet weapons, silent weapons for quiet wars are being deployed all over the United States. They will not have to fire a weapon. They will not, there, there is no, they realized that they no longer need to ban guns. They don't give a shit because if your mind cannot pull the trigger, if they have influenced your mind to where you don't want to fight, where your mind 
you believe that what they are doing is in your best interest. Where your mind believes the lie. The Bible says, God said, and I will send upon them strong delusion. Strong delusion. That they might believe the lie. I've got to make a phone call. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to this.